Good morning, bitches. It's another day of vlogmas. So it's currently 8.30. I decided I was not going to my 8 a.m. <laughs> For like a month in a row. Super good habit I'm in right now. Guys, don't be like me when you go to college, go to all your classes, you're paying for them. Um, I just have a problem. And the problem is called I can't get up at 7 a.m. But let me explain last night. My apartment has heat, but it's like radiator heat, if that makes sense. So it's like, it's like a radiator machine. You can, it's like right there, you can see it. The problem is, is it goes all the way around and I have shit up against it because I didn't realize until like yesterday that it does in fact work. So I'm scared to turn it on because I don't want anything in my apartment to catch on fire because in every single room I have it, I have stuff up against it. So I can't like turn my heat on unless I want to like rearrange my entire apartment, which I don't want to do. And I didn't think it was really going to be a problem. And then I went to bed last night at like 11.50, 12 ish. And I was literally laying in bed, rolling and tossing around cause I was so fucking cold until 1 AM. And then I got up and put like pants on and like fuzzy socks and I grabbed another blanket. So I was sleeping under like multiple blankets. And then I finally fell asleep cause I was warm. And I don't know if I can mentally handle doing that every single night. So maybe I will have to rearrange things, but we will see. So there are two classes I have to go to today and work. So that's what we're gonna get ready to do. And my first class is at 9.30, so I have about like 45 minutes to get ready. Oh my God, let me show you what I think I'm gonna have for breakfast. So the way like my schedule works is I won't really be here for lunch. So I have to have like a hearty breakfast today. I got these chicken cilantro and lime burritos from Aldi and they are so yummy. So I'm gonna eat one of these as my breakfast. Like six, okay, I'll do 20 minutes. Oh my God, I really have to go pee. Here's the burrito. Perfect, I'm gonna go pee and do bathroom stuff while that's warming up. Guess who just found out they got their period? What a fun twist to the day. That explains a lot about how I feel on the inside right now. So that's nice. But I'm just gonna finish brushing up my hair here. Ow, fuck. And then brushing my teeth. Here's what I'm thinking for my outfit for the day. Black pants, Wisconsin crew neck. Keep it simple on a cold day. I always keep it simple. I am dressed. I am just not feeling this Monday, but am I feeling any day of the week ever when I have to go to school? Not really. But it's okay, I'm gonna try to keep my spirits high for this week, cause if I don't, I think it's gonna be a really rough week. So just, yay, everything's good. Me waiting for baby like. Okay, I'll let you know when breakfast is ready. Breakfast is ready. Let me give you a taste test. Mm, okay. It's really hot, but it's so good. If you have an Aldi near you, go fucking buy these. It's time to go to school. So for my shoes, I'm gonna put on Uggs. For my coat, I'm wearing this Calvin Klein parka. Then my hat and gloves are both Carhartt, but I'm gonna leave the gloves off until I get outside. So I'm gonna drive to class because it's now that it's cold, I need to drive my car more. It's gonna like break down in the parking lot. Am I gonna drive to class? Yeah, Ye yeah, I'll drive to class. That sounds good to me. So one class, work, another class, end of the day, come back, work on homework and shit. We're gonna keep it nice and easy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just had a parallel park into the parking spot I'm, I'm in right now. And I thought I was fine, but the person in the car behind me, the person's fucking just sitting in their car. So they watched me parallel park in front of their car. And I, I think I may have done a bad job, but I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared to get out and tell, and I'm scared to keep trying. I'm scared to keep fucking trying because they are sitting in their fucking car. I'm nervous. I made a mistake. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm sure I'm probably, no, I feel like the ass of my car is fucking just sticking out into the road. And, but I just, I need the person in the car behind me to leave so I can fix it. They need to get out of their fucking car. All 
right, I'm at work now, which is pretty boring. So I'll probably see you after work. <laughs> Heading to my next class of the day and last class, thank God. Done with my class. I got out early because I worked just so gosh darn hard on that website last night. And turns out <laughs> I did it wrong, but it's fine. I fixed it and now I get to go eat my dinner and then I'm gonna call Miss Jenna Cooper later and then keep working on all my finals and papers. Okay, I know when I last saw you, actually I don't know, I think. When I last saw you, I said I was gonna make lunch. Well, it's 6.30 now. After I had said that, I made lunch, I ate lunch, I edited some YouTube videos, and then I was on a phone call with my friend Jenna. She's such a cutie pie for like the past like two hours. So that really consumed some time, but no worries, cause I gotta talk to Jenna. But now it's 6.30 and a good person. Actually, what time did I eat dinner though? Maybe, actually I might wait a few hours to eat dinner. This is one of the struggles of motherhood no one's talking about. What do you do when you got shit to do but your child wants to take a nap on your lap? I can't move her. She seems so comfortable. So I guess I just have to stay, even though it's 8.30 and I now definitely should be eating my dinner. It's dinner time, I finally decided to start preparing it and surprise, surprise, I'm doing something different other than ramen and eggs and mushrooms. I'm doing spaghetti noodles, tomatoes, and chicken sausage. So I'm just gonna explain what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna take you on the entire process because that's gonna take too long. But boiling the noodles, then I'm gonna cook these two with, with it and then it'd be one thing and then I put in bowl and I eat. I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Sorry for that bad explanation. I just realized it was pretty simple. All right, here it is, ooh la la. So delicious, I actually do recommend trying this one. So I was gifted a towel warmer from Chad's mom last Christmas and it broke. So she got me a new one and I was so cold last night that I think it's finally time to get out the towel warmer. And you might be thinking, Bella, how do those two things even correlate at all? Well, just because it's a towel warmer doesn't mean I have to use it for towels. My thought is, is I can warm my pajamas up before I put them on and then be like extra toasty in bed. So let's get this out. I think this is like the same version that I had once here. That I, she got me before. It's like the same exact thing. Just this. So I should know how to work it. Get the fuck off. Pull this blue tape off. Ooh, it's like sticking to the top. That's not pretty. That's fine, whatever. It's how I'm. So these do come with, I don't know what the fuck they're called, like air freshener things in them. So it like, also it makes your stuff smell good. So this bag comes with extra lamb and directions. Okay, considering this broke last time, let me read through this quickly to make sure I didn't fuck anything up myself. Okay, I got it. I don't know whether or not I wanna keep this in my room or the bathroom. I'm thinking the bathroom and then like, I can also just use my towel in it. The cord's on the bottom here, sorry. I'm just gonna keep it on this wall right here. Yay, new towel warmer. Here it is, it's close up. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you, Suzy Chugum. If you guys know anything about me, it is that I will hop on any sort of hair trend that can lead to waking up with curly hair in the morning without heat. I don't know why I am so attracted to these trends. Actually, it's obvious. I want my hair to look nice without any effort the morning of. So I've, I've done it all. I bought like the bar, I've done the leggings, I've done, I, I don't know, braids, shit. Maybe there's not that many things I've done, but I've done them and there's a new one. It socks, it socks in the hair. Is this actually new? Probably not. Is it just now on my TikTok feed? Yes. Without looking at any explicit directions, I'm going to try to figure out how to do this. 
based off of the videos I've seen and from my memory. So first thing I'm gonna do is brush out my hair so there's no snarls, okay. Then I guess suction it, right, into two pieces. Probably not straight down the back. I don't know if that matters. Then you take a saw, you bite it. Oh, I don't love how that feels. Oh, I don't love how that feels on my teeth. Okay, and you just, I don't know, you're supposed to like spin it. This does not fucking look right. Does this look right to anyone? I, I don't know. I okay, in the midst of my phone running out of space to record, I, I got it in this. I don't know if this is right. This also doesn't really feel like I can fall asleep on. It's giving, I don't know. I guess let's try the other side. See if I can do it again. See, and then I just, I don't know. Take all of this and just stuff it into my sock. Like I did the other one. I don't even know how I got it all in there. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, who is doing this all, all the fucking time? This looks ridiculous. I look, I look like Snoopy. Like what the actual fuck? I don't know. <laughs> but this is pretty much it. I'm gonna do, my closing duties and then I'm gonna go to bed so thank you so much for joining me on another day of vlogmas I can't wait to see what we vlog tomorrow I love you all so much thank you for watching if you like this video send it to your mummy to watch as well I would appreciate that if if you don't have a mummy for some reason um email me bye love ya